play with the B route, even with the A route and streak. They will not mess that up. You just the only thing that really messes it up is timing. And then you can see right here, we're just it's crossing that dude's face super easy for a one play touchdown. And that's just going to make this a really explosive uh, cover three one play touchdown. You can see now I'm going by even more. I'm probably going by like five extra yards. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you today. A passing play scheme. I'm in the Raiders playbook. Uh, but the formation I'm in is in a lot of different playbooks. I'm in the Gun Trips TE, uh, and this is a formation that I've had a lot of requests from, from Patreon members, from YouTube subscribers, uh, and I'm glad I put the time into it because I'm definitely going to show you one of the more broken pass plays. Every time I put a lot of time into a formation, I always find some gold. But this play at the bottom here, the PA slot corner, uh, it's gonna I'm going to home run just about every single defense in the game using this play right now. But I'm also going to show you guys a full scheme out of this, uh, run and pass, although I'll probably probably have extra stuff on my patreon and on my join now community because i have a ton of plays uh that i found in here but as always i'll show you guys how to home run just about every defense in the game before uh before i leave you guys uh in this video so you know without a doubt you're going to leave with plenty of firepower this formation right here if you use the rares playbook i know me personally when i use the rares playbook i'm in the gun bunch te a lot but from now on since i put the time into this i think this is going to be my go-to formation the gun trips te and especially this play because it's so uh it's so easy to abuse just about every cover in the game so we're going to, we're going to pick that uh, on the defensive side we're going to start off with cover two which is typically what we do we work with the zones and then work our way back to the mans and we're also going to work our way all the way up to cover four which is you know that's one of the hardest defenses in weekend league right now so if you're having trouble with cover four i'm going to show you a bunch of ways to break that defense with this particular play as always before i get into this video i just want to let you guys know this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor mmoxp.com if you guys need coins to get your mutt team up there's a lot of really um high powered cars dropping right now i know me personally i I want to get the Deshaun Jackson, although he's a million coins last I checked. I'm going to get him, but, I, but right now I can't afford him. But if you guys are trying to get some of these really expensive cards, check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. So this particular play against cover two zone has a different setup than just about every other defense I'm going to face. So that's why I'm getting that out of the way first. Against every defense I'm going to face today, I'm going to motion across the B route. This guy here is going to be uh, the motion receiver, but against cover two zone, it doesn't really work that way so in this scenario this is one of the few scenarios i have a couple of different ways i can beat cover two i can just put the x route here i can leave it with no motion at all put the x right here on a smoke streak the y route and the b route is going to be a very good cover two play so if you don't want to make any adjustments you can do that need a little bit of a better throw than what i got there I think I was under pressure if I had to guess, but like I said, I mean, this is, you know, if you want to do a, a play with no motion at all, you can do that and you're going to have success. You can see we're going to definitely, you know, you can get a catch and run. If I move the ball over, which I'm not going to do, you can get a catch and run. If you're running it to the open side of the field, which like I said, I'm not going to bother, but you can definitely get a catch and run and beat that safety with enough speed. But that's an old concept. The other concept is motion across this receiver here. I'm going to motion across the B route most of the time, but you can motion this guy across, let him get set, put the A route on a streak, and this is going to be a very successful play against cover two, just as long as you have enough time for this. Uh, you know, especially if you got a speedy tight end, you're going to be cover two right over the middle because those those routes, uh, those corner routes, are going to pull the safeties apart. So that's one of the uh, the better ways to beat cover two is accidentally motion the wrong guy. But that's fine because we're going to move to the next coverage. So now moving on to cover three zone, the next is going to be cover four zone. Uh, we're just going to motion across this guy right here. This is the main motion route of this play. Uh, all the other routes, all we're going to do is put them on streaks. The X and the A are just going to be streaks. They're really just there for coverage. That's the only real responsibility is to pull coverage back. And these crossing routes are going to beat just about every single defense in the game. Uh, just as long as, I mean, I didn't have a ton of time right there. But you can see, I mean, if I had a little bit more speed, it's one of my slow receivers. He would have been gone. Now, if somebody messes with like their, their zone drop depths to try to take away these deep crossers, you can always leave your X on a drag, and that will give you a good opportunity for a check down, uh, to say the least. You'll have that there, um, so you know it, it's something where they can't just completely sell out for the deeper routes. So now I'm in a cover four drop. 
uh, which is, you know, like the Cover 4 Drop Show 2 or Cover 4 Drop Contain, which is what I'm against going against right now uh, in a dollar. Um, this is one of the defenses that I'm most excited about when it comes to this particular play. There's a couple of different ways you can beat Cover 4. Um, same motion, but if you want to put the A route here on a smart route, it will typically shorten that, and you can have a really easy throw to the sideline here. So if you do that a couple times, your opponent's probably going to attempt uh, to, you know, use that, take that away. So that's going to leave open a lot of other options. So there's a couple different ways you can do this, but if we want to go ahead and we motion this guy across uh, one more time, we'll put, we'll keep doing that uh, smart route, but I'm going to be going across the field now because this B route is a very explosive one-play touchdown against cover four. As you can see, I think I was a little bit behind on that throw, but you can see there's multiple routes that home run this play. So we'll go and do that again. You still have that drag, which is one of the better things. You can still, um, you know, use that drag there as a check down, which is perfect. Uh, but you can also, if you want to, you can streak Waller here. Now, if you streak Waller, that's going to create uh, some new uh, open routes, like the Y route here. The Y route will once again be open right across the center of the field, the same way it was on the previous play. So you really have to know which, uh, you know, how you want to attack this. But there's multiple ways, and like I said, Cover Four is one of the harder defenses to attack as far as I mean it's really not but it, it, it cover four is not too difficult because you do there are ways to beat it there's plenty of ways to beat cover four it's just that once you do it once your opponent's probably going to try to use that and take that away and that's why you need multiple options like this so we'll go and we'll do that one more time we'll put the a route on a streak um, just because I want to show that I can still home run this play with the B route even with the A route and the streak. They will not mess that up. You just The only thing that really messes it up is timing. And then you can see right here, we're just, just crossing that dude's face super easy for a one-play touchdown. Next up, we got man coverage. Man coverage obviously is very popular. Same setup as the cover four. We're just going to streak Waller, although we don't have to. We could leave Waller doing what he's doing. But it's going to be best against man cover one to try to pull that safety back. And then you're going to have this exact same opportunity on both sides. So, I mean, these are some of the more popular defenses in the game right now. Cover 1 is definitely a very popular clamp down defense. Cover 4 the same way. Like I said, you don't have to uh, streak the A route, but you can. And then obviously your drag is going to beat it. Your Y route is going to beat it. I mean, this is just going to be super cheese um, to, to try to beat. Although if you have like tight covers like that, that can happen. But you can see, I mean, I still beat it there. You know what I mean? Like I don't necessarily have, obviously Henry Ruggs is my better receiver of the two guys. Uh, but, you know, it just really depends on your personnel and which one of these guys is going to be the best call. But there's three guys that are going to get open on this play. Same thing with cover two, man. Once again, I'm in the dollar formation, so there's no real excuses. But... When it comes to cover two, you'd have to do the original setup where you're streaking both of these receivers uh, because you got to pull those guys back. Although you can see right here, I mean, if you have a guy like Darren Waller who can beat that press, you can obviously have a big play up the middle. You're not typically going to see that type of advantage in Mutt, though. But in other game modes, you probably will. So I like the motion snap this guy uh, because I want that inside release. And this Y route here, too, will get a uh, off the jam a lot of times. They'll get an instant opening. So you don't have to wait um, if you watch the y, the y route especially, he gets an inside release a lot. You don't have to necessarily wait for him to cross the field. Um, if he doesn't get it, like right here, I mean, here he gets it. You hit that low throw. You know, there's an early opportunity and a late opportunity when it comes to the Y route. That's the only thing I can say about that particular route. And then, like I said, I like the motion snap because, you know, I have that inside release once again. And there's, like I said, a lot of early opportunity and late opportunity when it comes to these routes against cover two. So that first play there, uh, that home run, just about every defense, except for I think I didn't get a home run against cover three. It was a big play against cover three, uh, but I'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown against cover three to mix in with that play. And that's the X spot. So we're going to pick that. Uh, then on the defensive side, obviously, we'll continue with cover three. This play here, all I really got to do, put this B route on a streak, put this X route on a drag, and that's really all she wrote when it comes to cover three. As you're going to see right here, this B route, all I got to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety, and that's really one of the easier uh, setups you're going to find. Now, you can do that. I mean, you can, you know, obviously, uh, there's there's things you can do to make this even more explosive. If I motion this running back out, it's going to spread this defense out even more. Uh, then, you know, do the same setup on the left side, and this is what you're going to have. And that's just going to make this a really explosive uh, cover three, one play touchdown. You can see now I'm going by even more. I'm probably going by like five extra yards because I moved that safety across in the center of the field. 
but if you want you know say you're mixing in your run plays and stuff like that uh, and you want to keep that safety in the box a lot of times your opponent you know if, if you motion that running back out and the threat of the run is gone then a lot of times they'll, they'll feel more free uh, to roam and try to take away uh, these seams so in that scenario you don't have to make any of those adjustments it's really a, uh, a decision that you have to make uh, whether you want to you know basically um, you know spread the field more or keep the possibility of a run uh, you know keep keep that disguise of the possibility of a run play which to me personally I think it's best to run it just like this so to end this video uh, and like I said there's gonna be a ton of stuff on my patreon uh, and my join now because um, I still have like four or five more plays to record uh, but I'm gonna end this video with an explosive play against random defenses and that's going to be PA counter go this play right here I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna pick a random dollar this play here is going to have success no matter what defense. You can't read a defense. Just like the first play. If you can't read a defense, it doesn't really matter because the setup's going to be the same. It's going to have success the same. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Y route and a drag. I'm going to put the A route on a streak. And that's pretty much it. As far as uh, the X route goes, I mean, I could, I could do any number of things with him. I can motion him across. Uh, put him on a slant a lot of times I'll do that just to kind of give myself another receiving option But ultimately I don't really feel that that's important uh, because really I'm just reading the B route here and the the Y route Which is going to be um, you know really it's just a high low read and this is going to be just about any man or zone in the game So like I said, I could leave that uh, that Y route uh, Over where he's at you can see like I said any man any zone this route here especially is going to be the most explosive one uh, But it's going to have success against just about any defense in the game the only uh, exception is cover four, uh, which if it is a cover four, I'm not saying that this is, but if it is a cover four motioning out this running back here, uh, which for whatever reason, um, the, the no defense followed, but a lot of times you'll have to motion out that uh, that running back to pull that outside cover four cornerback back. So uh, that was not a cover four. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see the rest, make sure to check it out on my Patreon or uh, hit the join now button and check it out in the community tab. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let's shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.